Hello. So today we are going to be learning about parts of the dog and also discussing a little bit about mammals. So we have some fun work this week. Who doesn't love dogs? I mean, really. For those of you in my class, you know my dog, Obi. He's over here watching me record this lesson. So let's get to it. Oops. <laughs> so here we see the dog. The dog was one of the first animals to live and hunt with humans. Do you know, scientists think that dogs have been around for at least 20,000 years and as long as maybe 40,000 years. All dogs um, have an ancestor. They come from wolves and Dogs were domesticated around, scientists think around 20,000 years ago. And if we think about the benefits that dogs provide, you know, those early humans, you know, they perhaps domesticated dogs for protection or companionship. We, of course, now we have lots of dogs as pets. They make great companions and they warn us if, Maybe you have a dog or know of a dog that barks a lot. They warn us about noises, they help protect us. And of course, dogs are very great and friendly. They have very keen noses and sense of smell. That's kind of like their, their thing. Um, in terms of they are mammals. So that means they have fur. I'm gonna make this. So that means they have fur. They are warm blooded. If an animal is warm blooded, it creates its own body heat. They give live birth and nurse their young, like humans do. And they have lungs that they breathe with. Not like fish breathe with gills. So those are some characteristics of mammals and dogs. That's a lot of information right there. Beep. So let's get down to more some specifics about dogs. The head, the head Includes the eyes, ears, nose, mouth, all that good stuff. Similar to our own heads, we have all those things. And the head, here it is. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Not going to color it in. I'll just circle these. So the ears. I guess I could write. So dogs have outer ears to help them hear. Dogs also have a really keen sense of hearing. So there's the dog's ears. Um, because they have really sensitive hearing, you may notice that certain sounds that don't bother us so much may really bother dogs, like certain high-pitched sounds. Um, there's also a, like a dog whistle because dogs can hear in pitches that humans can't hear in, so. The muzzle, oops, see here's the muzzle. This includes the mouth and jaws. It's also has, it's also can be called a snout. And then we have the nose, the crowning glory of every dog. There it is. 
and kind of make him like Rudolph. Uh -huh. So the nose. The dogs have very sensitive noses, can smell many odors. And have you ever noticed that a dog's nose is always wet? Well, the nose is wet so they can sense the air around them. So sense, sensitive. The neck. Attach, attached, attaches and moves the head to the body. Can move the head, the head up to see things and down to smell that direction. Just like our necks, our necks help turn our heads and help us look all around us. The front legs. The front legs have bones that are very similar to our arms. And just like their hind legs, turn here. Have bones and are very similar to our legs. Here's the paw. So the paw has the pads. They have nails. And did you know that dogs walk on their toes? And finally, the tail. What does this tail do? Well, if you've ever met a dog, you're talking to it and you notice its tail is wagging. The tail shows the dog's emotion. So dogs will wag their tails when they're happy and excited. They might kind of tensely shake it if they're nervous or upset. But those are our parts of the dog. We notice that many of these parts are we also have and are very similar to us because dogs like us are mammals. So you have a padlet and some work options. Now this week, um, we're gonna ask you to do a couple things. We'd like you to do some kind of work completion to show that your understanding of the dog. You can make a booklet or if you're a first year, use this PDF, you can label the diagram. There's also a seesaw work option on mammals. And of course we have our videos. There's videos about mammals and then videos more specifically about dogs. And then in addition to, we'd like you to do some research on a particular mammal of your choice. Now this can't unfortunately be any mammal that you think of, but um, in your Google Classroom, you are given some articles or Google Slides, depending on what grade you're in, and some graphic organizers, and it would be really great if you did a project on an animal. So there's several animal choices. 
My apologies if your animal choice is not included. If you really wanna do um, another animal, then you can use, you can use what's assigned to you as kind of like a template, you know, looking at those kinds of questions. You still need to, to do these basic things of, you know, writing about your animal. What does it eat? Where does it live? Um, what are some characteristics of it? Like the dog has these features. What features does your animal have? Does it climb? Does it hop? Does it swim like whales? Um, and then write some interesting facts about it. Maybe you wanna make a poster and draw a picture of your animal and write interesting facts about it. Maybe you wanna do some additional research if you like perhaps your animal is endangered or in living in some kind of danger like tigers. Um, maybe you wanna make a persuasive poster, you know, saying to people, don't domesticate tigers, don't, we need to stop this in the USA. There's so many, there's more tigers living in captivity than there are in the wild. So in Montessori, you know, we really, we're really hoping, it's like, here's the lesson. Here are materials and things that you can do. And it's your choice. How do you wanna show your learning? What do you wanna do? Maybe you're thinking of something that I haven't come up with. Maybe you wanna write a story about this animal, but also make sure you're including facts. Maybe you wanna write a play. Maybe you wanna do further research, like I said about endangered animals or something is your choice. So we hope that this week you have fun learning about mammals and animals and have fun doing your research and making your projects and we'll see you next time.